I'm afraid to move. <laughs> it looks like everything around me wants to kill me. Okay, I can do this. Oh, shoot. Okay, I can make this. I believe in my... Oh, no. I just lost my ankles. <laughs> Why did I have to do that to me? <laughs> okay, so we are still in the Shadow Temple. I'm unsure on how much further we can make it. And I'm not trying to do this without the lens of truth. Today is not the day to showcase how much I know about this game. It could be, but it is not. <laughs> All right, we have another silver rupee room. I have a lot of random stuff. Let's start off by taking out the hoe bags. You saw nothing and their souls are tethered to a chest that has appeared before me, which will open after we collect everything else in here. Let's start off by getting the Skultula. That's 58? Holy crap, how am I so far behind them marking them? So now that we found the C note and can play any ocarina song that we unlock, I think the song that I want the most next is maybe Saria song? No wait, Epona song would be the best. That way I can ride Epona and I can also get all the cows with cow sanity. For sure that. Yes, I'm gonna collect this green rupee. The completionist in me does not want to leave anything behind. And also I always think it's funny how you can walk over these spikes with hover boots and not get hurt. <laughs> I don't make it make sense, cause I can't. A silver rupee for the spirit trial in Ganon's castle. Oh shoot, we can't unlock this door until we get all five silver rupees in this room. These temples are going to require a lot of backtracking, huh? Finding the items in this randomizer is going to be one thing. Beating all the dungeons and making it all the way through is going to be another entirely different task. I don't know if we can do this without... Iron boots. It does stop for a moment. It's gonna. No! You're gonna ruin this for me! Here, kill it. Just don't let the other one push us back. Run, Link, run! Oh, we got this. And then right here, we're gonna. No! <laughs> okay. This might be the end of the road for Shadow Temple. I can't imagine doing this without iron boots. All right, let's warp to, we have the menu at a forest. I almost forgot. Yeah. Let's do it. Saria in her stinky ass hair is waiting for us. Let's get to it. All right, wait, wait. Oh, that's from Sheik. Another key for the treasure box shop. Thank you, Sheik. She doesn't want to show herself. She's very shy. Okay, we're going to pop over into this corner and get it soaking wet. Cause a little mudslide. Two more salads. Cover them in Caesar dressing. Which it still trips me out that Caesar dressing is made with... It's anchovies, right? Blows my mind. Deku not. Deku. Okay, how come some of these Deku scrubs are selling such cheap bullcrap? <laughs> the hearts they gave us after they ran away are more useful. Okay, so we have a full wallet. Before we do Forest Temple, should I go buy the stuff that I want to buy? I mean, we can teleport back to Kakariko pretty easily. And quick update on the games that I've been selling on eBay. Animal Crossing sold for over $200. It was purchased by Austin. The last hour of the auction for this game just went, it went from like $60 up to over $200 in like the last hour. My brain was blown. But thank you, Austin, for <laughs> purchasing my game. And then 1080 Avalanche was sold to Vita Kid, good old friend Vita, very big supporter of the Two Clan, and I'm very appreciative of all of their love that they give towards the Two Clan. 
And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be selling potentially my most valuable game that I own. Fire Emblem Path of Radiance for the GameCube. This game is so much fun. One of the best Fire Emblem games ever created. And I know that it has a really high demand. So I'm expecting this game to potentially sell for more than any other game that I'm going to be selling for my game library. But I will put a link in the description if you are interested in bidding on this one. Have a good auction, y'all. Bid safely. We got that. Um, this is really expensive. I'm not going to buy that right now. I, I do plan to buy it eventually because I do want to try to get all 100 skull to the tokens. Rain on me. Got to come down here to poke the beehive. Oh, beehives. We'll start with the chest first. <laughs> Bloops, I did it again. Silver. Recovery heart. I was told that the thing that added all the recovery hearts into the pool was paw sanity. They said that recovery hearts are the most commonly found item inside pots. So it all makes sense. Okay, big guy. What you gonna sell me for 200 rupees? A silver rupee for ice cavern. Which, oh, can, we can go to ice cavern now, can't we? Oh, we already broke this one. Yeah, now that we have Zelda's Lullaby, we can go back there. Let's start with Forest Temple. I think that makes the most sense. So last episode, I made a statement that was very untrue. I was talking about certain temples having more keys than the other, and I was corrected. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you just want to know some random information, Forest Temple, Shadow Temple, and Spirit Temple all have five keys total. So those are all the dungeons with the least amount of keys. Water Temple has six keys, and then Fire Temple has the most keys with eight total. So that's why we've probably found more Fire Temple keys than anything else. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tycoon Wallet! Now we can hold 999 rupees. No more rupee will ever be wasted again. And while we only have one key for Forest Temple, it's kind of crazy. And then uh, Garuda Training Grounds has nine keys. So the Training Grounds takes the top key award. Hey puppies. I hear you hustling and bustling down here. And I want nothing to do with it. I'll let you live this time since you didn't land any swipes on me. So last episode's comment question of the day it was very interesting. I loved reading your guys' comments for this one. I asked what game that already is released would be the best to add more DLC to? And, oh, a Deku Shield. And the game <laughs> that got requested the most, which makes sense with my audience, was Tears of the Kingdom. Lots of people want more DLC for Tears of the Kingdom because even though the game has a lot to offer, a lot of people still feel like it could offer way more. And I haven't completely beat it, but from what everybody has told me, even before that comment question, I definitely agree. I don't know why they announced they're not releasing more DLC for it because I feel like it's the perfect game to release a lot of DLC for. Like this has such a big fan base and so much room there's so much room in that world to fit in more Zelda stuff. I'm totally with you all. They should do it. At least add Master Mode. Come on, Breath of the Wild had Master Mode. You can't just downgrade yourself. The second most answered game was Mario Party Superstars, which is the newest Mario Party game. It's a good Mario Party game, but the downside is it feels like it's really, really lacking in content. It only has five game boards, which if you didn't know, Mario Party Superstars remakes 
some of the best game boards from previous Mario Party games. So they're not even brand new board concepts, they're just HD remakes. And with how many boards there are to remake, it would make sense, so much sense to sell more boards on top of that. That way we can have some more replayability. Hey, little Farrell, let's pick that guy up. But I was like almost positive they were gonna release DLC for that, and then they didn't. Same for Mario Odyssey. That game felt like it was for sure gonna get DLC because it'd be so easy to add some extra worlds with some more moons, and they didn't. They completely just, they decided to not do that whatsoever, which very, very sad. A game I'm playing through right now, I'm on about world three of this game that quite a few people said could use DLC is the new Kirby in the Forgotten Land, the first official 3D Kirby game. And since I haven't beaten yet, I can't really state an opinion, but I'm really happy that lots of people are enjoying the 3D Kirby game. It's cool to finally see Kirby get a third dimension outside of Air Ride. Air Ride was a really cool game. I'm surprised they haven't re-released that for Switch. Oh, dude, we can reach all the way up to this guy with a long shot. That's cool. Boy. A commenter said that the Katamari games would be great for some more stages. Because they released remakes of the Katamari games on Switch. And they're really good. I have Damasi. I thought there was a chest up here. I'm tripping. There's Cult of the Tokens up there. I think we just want to go over to this side. But whenever I play Damasi, I feel like once you get to the stages where you really start destroying and rolling up everything, the game kind of ends. And I kind of wish there was more stages that just lets you consume everything. This comment said Mario Maker 2 has so much more potential for new stuff to be added to it. And I'm sure especially with Mario Wonder out. I wonder if they're gonna add DLC to Mario Maker 2 to add Mario Wonder mechanics, or if they're gonna make a Mario Maker 3 in the future and that's gonna be the one that includes stuff from Mario Wonder. But with how much I've seen from the ROM hack scene of 2D Mario games, I definitely agree that Mario Maker 2 could use some more content. This commenter wrote an entire essay, and I enjoyed reading the entire thing because I also love Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I'm a huge Chow Garden fan. I could play with Chows every day of my life if possible. And I agree with a lot of their sentiments of things that they could add, like extra levels and more features for Chow Garden and more levels for some of the characters you can play as in two-player mode, like Metal Sonic and Amy Rose. At the end of the day, what I would like to see the most is a Sonic Adventure 3 battle. Just give us a third Sonic Adventure game. And I did a little bit of research, and they interviewed the director of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle not too long ago, just like a year or two ago, asking if Sonic Adventure 3 would be a possibility. And he said he would love to create it, but it would just need a super, super big budget from Sega. So this is my message from Sega. This is my attacking Toucan's endorsement Sega that you should definitely give the director the budget to make Sonic Adventure 3 Battle because that game could bring in a lot of money, especially if it had Chow Garden and double especially if you could also access that Chow Garden with your smartphone as an app and you could do stuff cross-platform between the app version of Chow Garden and the actual version on the game console. All right, time to jump into whale. Okay, Link, do as I say, and that's what I do. It's so weird to see random items laying around that would normally have no significance in the randomizer, and suddenly they do. So far, Forest Temple has just given us the Tycoon Wallet, which is a good upgrade. It's cool to have all the wallet upgrades. Like Mr. Krabs, I love my money, 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 money. And I think we're done with these courtyards. Let's head out, 
see how much further we can make it with one key the answer is going to be not very far <laughs> so many people said that they want majora's mask to have some dlc which majora's mask you guys know is pretty much my favorite zelda game it's like between that and twilight princess they both just have so many elements that i love but i think the coolest concept that somebody came up with would be to add dlc to allow you to play day four on majora's mask so you get to experience Termina after you save it from the moon and Skull Kid and just get to interact with the locals as they celebrate the the festival of time it would really be rewarding because then you save the world and then you get to interact with the world that you saved I know that's not super common for video games but I wish it was a bit more common every once in a while this dude Brando said that he wants new Pokemon Snap to have some DLC levels Especially to include areas and Pokemon from Violet and Scarlet. I just started playing new Pokemon Snap not too long ago, and that game is beautiful. Ugh, I only wish we had a Pokemon game with the graphics as good as those games. It'd be such a level up for just everybody. And then this concept is something I could actually get behind, surprisingly enough, or funnily enough. But... <laughs> More characters for Smash Bros. They said they specifically wanted Shadow the Hedgehog. But I love character reveals for Smash Bros. Ooh, we can now hold more seeds for the slingshot. Cool, cool. And it's just always so much hype to see new characters be dropped. And Smash Bros Ultimate already has a roster way too large to handle. So adding more characters, I don't think would really change anything. Like if the game already has too many characters, so you can't really ruin the concept of there being too many characters, if that makes sense. So yeah, just seeing like new characters added from some of the newer Nintendo games, like from Tears of the Kingdom, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and Xenoblade 3, all that kind of stuff. And then here's some comments of games that people want a DLC for that are games that I've never heard of because I'm mostly a Nintendo gamer and have a kind of limited scope when it comes to games. But you guys know me. I hope you guys' dreams come true with, with all the fun entertainment that could be released into the world by gracious game developers. Okay, I think we're done in Forest Temple. We have reached another dead end. So... Back on the Z -Z 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 Zora River. We're gonna hop back into this grotto to get the beehive. Having to backtrack places because I didn't have the boomerang. That's gonna be the story of my life with this randomizer. I already know. I'm being omniscient. I know how these things work. I've zooted before. This isn't my first time to zoot. It's okay, we're not actually backtracking because we are going to go further up the river. Because now we can get rid of the waterfall in front of Zora's Domain. Okay, so first, people told me that I can dive down right here to get the stuff underwater. We totally can. Oh, there's a forest temple key. Dang. <laughs> we did things out of order. We could have gone a bit further. It's okay, we're going to have to go back later once we have more keys anyways. We're just saving up. And I'm going to dive down and get the other stuff as well, just so I can see if it's possible to get all of this stuff right here. Just in case I need to in the future. Yeah, there we go. All four checks collected. All right, time to play the most hype song in Ocarina of Time. And by hype, I mean the most sleepy song. The most soothing song. No, Serenade of Water might be a bit more soothing. No, Serenade of Water is a bit more sexy. No, it's a Serenade. Serenade all our hoes with the Serenade of Water. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. Oh, we can finally test this out. 
I'm really excited. We already broke these as Young Link, but sometimes these pots are holding different stuff in comparison to Young Link and Old Link. So I'm just like double checking. Let's see if it works. Ice arrows on red ice. Wow. Ice arrows are no longer useless. Zora shop, can we buy this key for Shadow Temple? We can, let's get it. Anything else? Mm, nope, nothing else looking that good right now. Well, let's go thaw out the giant fish stick. The giant crab patty. Whatever you want to consider King Zora. You know, or we could just leave him frozen. <laughs> Down with the patriarchy. We can hurt him and save him at the same time. It's a win-win situation. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression for my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. <laughs> That's a weird tunic, sir. If I tried to wear the bomb bag, I'm not sure how much area it would cover or clothe. I might be able to turn it into a loincloth at most. Once we get the iron boots, this area is going to be so loaded. Can I look underwater from here? So much stuff down here. You can kind of see what it is. I see lots of rupees, recovery hearts, obviously. A lot of the stuff isn't showing up. I think there's like 20 checks down there. <laughs> Hopefully we find the iron boot soon. How, how did I fall off that? Damn it. Come on, Octorok. Woo. But also when we find the iron boots, that means we're going to have to go to water temple, <gasps> which I'm okay with. I literally have no gripes with water temple. I've played this game so many times that water temple is no longer confusing in the slightest. The way the camera was shaking just then because of this ice platform I'm standing on, it felt like I was playing Majora's Mask and the whole world was having an earthquake on day three because of the moon getting so close. Majora's Mask is so creepy in that way. Like the world is ending. And in the force of gravity that the falling moon is causing, is causing the tectonic plates to shift and rumble. Gotta love it. Oh wait. I think a lot of these ice chunks have random stuff in them as well. Like they typically have freestanding hearts and rupees. Not every single one, but I think that's gonna add more checks to the ice cavern. Yeah, I hear some in here. We already have some examples. Let's get rid of the annoying enemies that freeze us first. We don't mess with this bullcrap. I really don't know how far we'll be able to make it in here since we don't have all the silver rupees needed. I kind of want to check. Let's see. We've only found the five silver rupees in two areas. The ramp room in Garuda training grounds and the sunblock room in spirit temple. Well, that red ice had nothing. Dude, imagine playing this setting without the ice arrows doing what they do and having to just bottle five or six extra bottles of blue fire in order to get through this place and collect all the checks. It doesn't sound fun. Dude, so much junk everywhere. Zooter 5 is equivalent to running through a junkyard, I swear. Uh, we're gonna have a lot more options now that I think about it. Ice arrows are gonna help a lot with the sequence break in the ice cavern. Oh, don't bounce off. <laughs> that was a crazy bounce. That was for the water room. We're the training grounds. I hate that room. Hey. The hitbox of that wall is too tiny. Okay, so we still need two more silver rupees to make it through here. No, let me throw. Let me. 
same throw! Let's pop back in this direction. I also want to let you guys know that I have made an updated list of all the randomizers I have completed on YouTube as Let's Plays and such in the description of all the Zooter 5 videos and in the future all my Zooter videos. I just need to go back and do the work. I have a list of all the randomizers that I have done Let's Plays of. So all the Zelda randomizers, some of the side randomizers. They're all there in chronological order. So if you're ever trying to be an Attacking Toucan's completionist, I have organized all that information for you. All the playlists are there. And I personally think I did a really good job in creating series of all the randomizers on YouTube. No, we have, we have superb commentary. Fantastic editing, great gameplay, common interaction. It's everything you could ask for from a Zelda Let's Play. We gotta actually bottle some blue fire because I ran out of magic. I didn't foresee that problem happening. Now I wish I had the extended magic meter. Am I manifesting? Am I manifesting? Nope. No more magic for me. Well, let's go ahead and get one more jar then. Should I get a second one? Nah, I'm too lazy. Hey. Icicles. I was going to tell them to chill, but I'm pretty sure icicles are already pretty chill. <sighs> Ice Cavern has some of my favorite ambience. So good. All right, worst enemy in the game, apart from maybe like likes. Stupid ass ice keys. Fortunately, I am the more smart one. <laughs> oh, is that Requiem? Oh, that's Epona song! Yeah! I mean, nay! Which that actually seems like I'm opposing. Yay! Not nay, but also nay, because Epona's a horse, if you didn't know. Okay, we can go further in Fire Temple. Is this for this room? No, that's for Spirit Temple. Okay, what's the best way? to optimize this room for ourselves. Also, I know I'm doing like lots of reminders this video, but just another reminder, we're having our first Smash Bros and EDM party tonight in Torrance, California, near Long Beach. Tickets are free, so if you can come through, we'd love to see you there. Like I said, I'm trying to create more physical events for people to go and hang out at because it's great to hang out with people who have similar interests. The event info will be down in the description. Do you guys like how I collect the bad checks, even though it's, like, trash? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but, like, from a completionist standpoint, I think it's just, like, it feels satisfying to collect the objects, just to know that they're not even there, just sitting anymore. I think to get this, we need to play Song of Time? Normally, I never do this. But it's very convenient that we just bought Song of Time. We don't need you to teach it to us, Zelda. Oh wow, that's really weird. What? <laughs> the tiny Song of Time blocks. Oh, they're little babies. <laughs> little baby Song of Time blocks. That's so good. Alright, this door is locked. In order to progress an ice cavern, we're gonna need more silver rupees. That's how it be. Back to the sacred meadow. Is it nighttime? I can never tell here. <laughs> Night and daytime. No, I think it's daytime. Let's make it nighttime. There's a scratchy boy that I'm trying to get. I literally can't tell. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. It's like gonna be like that dude. Fuck the club up. Fuck the club up. Fuck the club up. Fuck the club up. Hi. Heels on my tippies. Don't say 
in Cabana that's on my titties. Okay, it is, in fact, daytime. Okay, it actually looks like nighttime this time. I think earlier it was in one of those transition periods where it kind of looks like it's a morning or evening, which is why I wasn't able to tell the time of day. This is gonna be 200 rupees and we can hold them all. Yes, for once. <laughs> For freaking once, I'm so happy about that. Shop Sanity is now our bitch. Yeah, I'm just gonna not deal with those dudes. Not in the mood. Yeah. And people reminded me that Thick Fairies, they refill your hearts and your magic. So we're back with the blue fire arrows. And let's just run straight out of the Lost Woods. Because I do know there's a beehive over here. There has to be. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Quick slip. It's a double beehive room. My fave. Heart piece. Another golden rupee! We're actually getting kind of lucky with the timing of these, finally. It's crazy seeing us have over 500 rupees. That is not in the base game, for those of you who don't know. Tycoon Wallet was, in fact, an added upgrade from Randomizer. I think we might be able to make this. Oh, we can! Alright, this is the way to end the episode right here. 61. 62. That's all of the silver rupees for the torch room in the child side at the spirit temple. The metal bridge is now lowered. I love the descriptions for that. They're really helpful. <laughs> Serenade of water? I think we could have gotten these much earlier. I did not realize that hover boots allowed us to reach this though. Come on. Come on. Get out of here with that. And some refills. Wow, what a fantastic way to end this video. And there's nothing left for us in that shop. Let's end the video by going home. Hey. You put this gigantic weed outside my house. I'm going home. To the place where I belong. Oh, I like how there's little mushrooms growing outside Link's house. Funnily enough, there's little mushrooms growing outside the door to my house, too. They just started showing up there, and I think it's so cute. Can I fit on my bed? <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I'm going to bed. Night, y'all.